Huh? Huh? What it do? Happy good morning, huh? Huh? How y'all doing? Huh? I'm gonna wait a little bit. I'm gonna wait just a little bit. Huh? You can see the smile, right? There's a huge smile going on. Welcome to the Happy Good Morning Show. Brought to you by This One Last Podcast. Yeah. Huh? Nat Mo. Look like we got 40 problems, but 39 ain't one, huh? Good morning, cuz. You see what we did this weekend, huh? If you can't tell, cuz, there's a smile. There's, look at the smile right here. That's where it starts, right there. <laughs> oh, what's going on, folks? Welcome to the Happy Good Morning Show. Happy Good Morning. Today we got to um, talk about everything that went down this weekend. All the stuff that went down this weekend. Well, it wasn't that much news. Uh, we're going to start with the... Um, yeah, that was, that, more, that was a good game, bro. I ain't going to lie, dog. A few times I was like, man, well, maybe we got the wrong coach. When it was, he kept going forward or fourth down. I'm like, uh, all these, like, you got punters throwing the ball. You got Upman running the ball. But welcome to the Happy Good Morning Show. Well, you know, I go live every Monday and Friday. Every Monday and Friday we go live and we talk about everything that's going on um, around what I want to talk about, really. It's more or less what I want to talk about. Um, and today... We're going to be talking about the goings on of the weekend. Uh, we're going to start with sports, but we're not going to end with sports. We're going to have other talk. Um, it was a big, big sports weekend. Um, we had the, my Hurricanes. We won the Hurricanes. You know, we looked good the other night. We, we won. We did our thing for the Miami Hurricanes, you know. Um, the UCF. Knights, they beat Georgia Tech, which is a, eh, I'm not going to say they're a good football team, but it was an impressive win. The South Florida Bull, um, Bulls, uh, uh, South Florida Bulls, uh, they, 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 they had some trouble this weekend. And, you know, we just got to pray for the Bulls, you know, the Bulls, they, they, they'll be all right. They just got to pray for them right now, you know, um, once again, my Hurricanes, we won this weekend. You know, you know how my Hurricanes do. Oh, this smells good. What did I put on my, ooh. Ooh, that smells good. My mask smell like cookies. Ooh. Ooh, it smells good. What, what, I ain't even had no cookies. Mmm, 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 mmm. Some, spunk, some pumpkin spice cookies. I want to know if Zion steal my mask again. Let me take that off. He probably used my mask again. Eat some cookies in my mask. So, yeah. Um, so, that was the goings on in, in football. Um, what it is it? Um, two out of three Florida teams that played one this weekend, which is a good thing. Um, I, don't, I don't get it. You know, most people, you know, when they, they like a Florida team, it's like they always, like, at some point got to hate on the Florida team. I, I like all Florida teams unless they play me. If you play in my Hurricanes, then that's the only time I don't like you. I want Florida State. I want Florida. I want I want all Florida teams to dominate unless they're playing us. I, we just got to be on top. And that's just the way it is. Um, my Miami Hurricanes went me. Miami Heat went down. We lost game three against the Boston um, Celtics. I mean, we can't be perfect. You know, it's, we can't win them all. Um, but my, the Miami Heat does this thing where they just don't play well. They just into like the fourth quarter. Then they want to play too well. They want to play too good. If we can get a groove where we play like 
the fourth quarter of how they play in the fourth quarter. Um, that would be this this series would be a sweep. So um, my my Canes won, my Cowboys won, my Heat lost. So we down. So we we went two and one. I take that two and one on the weekend. Um, I take that. You know, if I can get two and one every weekend, one of my teams is going undefeated. I mean, I don't know. I got I got to check the logic on that. But ideally, one of my teams would be going undefeated. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of sports news, um, I, I don't really want to. I want. I want to give. I want to give my man LeBron some bell, and I want to use this story right here to talk. Have a greater conversation, and um, so it, it, LeBron James' son, oldest son, um, put out a photo of him. Allegedly, now we don't know if it's, it was him. We don't know if it was whether he, but it was like he shot a video of some of him smoking weed or something like that. Allegedly, um, I don't know. You can go on the internet and, and see the video. I, I don't really care too much about the video. Um, Seventeen-year-old son, you know, did that video right there. Now, if true, people was going crazy. Oh, LeBron James' son is smoking and all that. And I look at things a little differently. I want to shoot LeBron James some bell. Um, to me, this shows how good of a father LeBron is. Now, understand this. Black men, we had this, we, we got this, this cloud over our head of not being good fathers, right? We have this, 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 this cloud where people think, we just we're not good fathers. We, we I mean I've seen I've seen some um I've uh, you know you'll be in these little groups on Facebook or whatever. I seen one group where it was a father and he was um, bathing his um I think she was the, the daughter looked like she was three years old and they were like is this something a father should be doing and all the comments oh that's nasty that's wrong and all this like every father is thinking about doing something nasty to their kid. Right, so just being a black father sometimes give us an automatically indictment of doing wrong, right? Especially if we do everything that the the, the mothers the, the mothers would do, it just give us an an indictment of doing wrong, right? Um, I'm not complaining about it; it's just reality. I'm I mean that's 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 just the way it is. But the conversation I want to have is. Why not celebrate good fathers, right? Uh, let, let's celebrate good fathers. And, and, and the reason why I call LeBron James a good father is, think about this. This man is away. <laughs> He's in a bubble. When LeBron James is home, you'll never hear Bronny. You'll never see Bronny. Man, many people didn't even know uh, uh, LeBron James Jr. would even do something like this, right? It's not something that, 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 that he ever even showed to do. But it's the classic of when dad away, right? Um, LeBron James is in the in the bubble. He can't he can't be home because he's in the bubble. He's trying to win a championship or whatever and everything. And LeBron and Bronny act out like this. Man, think about this. If he was home, and the reason why I'm shooting LeBron James Bell is because if LeBron James was home, you know that this would not happen, right? So that you know that he's in home, he's a good father. You never hear anything about Bron being being a bad dad. Matter of fact, you, you always hear how he's a good dad, how he really spent time with his kids and everything. And I might be getting the kid name wrong, Bronny. I don't know which one is which. One of them is Bronny, one of them is something else. Um, but you know, people going crazy over this 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 video coming out of, of, of him. Listen, some of y'all kids at the age of 17 already locked up. I'm not saying that's a good thing, but trust me, it could be worse. And the fact that that kid has a home, a father in the home, that kid has a head start that a lot of kids never had. So we got to start, we got to start with all this, you know, uh, especially with, with, with black fathers when we, when, 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 when we are home trying, bro, when they are home at trying, trying to be there, man, like let's, Let's 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 under, let's see the trying. Oh man! So it was it was rumored last week. Um, it, him and Jackson State are trying to get close to a deal. 
to get a head to get him the head coaching job there. That's awesome. All right, so the lead sports. Let's get into some other news. We had the Emmys last night. Um, who uh, Eddie Murphy won an Emmy for something. I don't really follow this stuff, but I know it happens because I get little things on my phone that tells me stuff. <laughs> so I think um, Eddie Murphy won an Emmy, and I think it was for that Saturday night um, um, when he did Saturday night when he came back and did Saturday night Saturday night Saturday night live when he came back and did Saturday night live. So I guess he won an Emmy for that, which is cool, which is dope. I heard the Emmy was pretty good. Um, the social distancing Emmy. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this, man. I, I, this is what I love. I, I, I don't throw, I don't throw 2020 in the trash like everybody else does, right? Um, the reason why I don't throw 2020 in the trash is, um, I think adversity is really good. I think, I think, I think adversity makes you better, right? So. Um, Everybody was stuck at home. Then, boom, we get my 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 favorite new series, the verses. Oh, I've been loving these verses, and I don't think we would have got the verses without the 2020, uh, without everything that's going on in 2020. Um, somebody said this, and I thought this was beautiful. There was like 2020 has exposed a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff about America, a lot of stuff about people individual a lot of stuff about this world and I, I just think that 2020 we don't need to throw it away I think we just need to look at the the bad stuff I mean listen corona sucks coronavirus sucks um but in the long run this is another disease that we can be ready for um this is another disease that we can work towards um trying to eradicate I can't talk because it's too early to eradicate out of out of um out of all diseases I don't, I don't know what that's called the disease book thing but yes yeah, so I, I i don't i don't throw 2020 away like y'all throw 2020 away i think it's it's been some positive but then i'm always the person that's gonna look at the positive anyways there's got to be some kind of positive so i enjoy that um but yeah 2020 dude at one point i think we had like <laughs> I think we had like 10 tropical storms out there in, in, in the different waters. That's kind of crazy. Yo, whatever we did, like, yo, we need to apologize and not do it again. I see one, I, I see one mem said, um, when we done with 2020, nobody ever speak of this again. <laughs> and I'm kind of, I'm kind of with that. <laughs> but no, but uh, it brought us verses. I mean, it, 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 show, it showed us a lot of things, man. It showed us that we're not ready as a country for a lot of stuff. Um, and I'm not going to get political, so I'm not going to say anything. But it just showed us that as a country, we're not ready for a lot of stuff. And we need to start working on that. Y'all should see how I got the camera over here held up. It's very ghetto. But it's working, though. I'm kind of happy. But other than that, I don't, think, I don't think much else happened this weekend other than I worked a lot. I worked a bunch of hours this weekend. Oh, remember, um, go over to This Won't Last Podcast. This Won't Last Podcast on everything. You can go to the Facebook. If you're watching this on Facebook, you're already there. You can go to us on YouTube. You can get all the Happy Good Mornings on YouTube and on Facebook. Um, you can go to Podbean, um, Spotify, iHeartRadio everywhere, man. I'm telling you, we everywhere. Apple Apple Podcasts. I just seen that uh, Amazon has a new podcast, a uh, new podcast in place. So we, we, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be on there pretty soon. Um, that's that's the next thing we're gonna try to get on is the Amazon. So everywhere you can find the podcast, you can find the This One Last podcast. Come check us out, man. We have a lot of fun. We have a lot of good conversations. Um, what else? While I'm doing this, what else I need to be doing? Oh, remember, every Monday and Friday, we do the happy good mornings in the 7 o'clock hour. 
I try to get them started by seven o'clock, but sometimes, I don't know, sometimes I just can't get on the dot seven o'clock. Sometimes I'll be running a little late. So you can um, catch it in seven o'clock hours. If you watching the replay, let us know something, man. Uh, leave a uh, comment on the replay. Hey, I, I, I told, I'm here to tell y'all. So last week we did the, um, last Friday we did the, uh, the best pickup line you ever heard or you ever said to someone. And the one I, I can't remember the one that I heard. Actually, it was it was this. I, I remembered it now. It was, girl, you you gotta stay away from me. You too sweet. So it was it was some it was something. I, I think it was something that you too sweet. I got diabetes or something like that. It was it was hilarious. I guess I still ain't remember. Ah, dog it. Anyways, um, yeah. So go check us out at all those places. <laughs> Go listen to last Friday um, um podcast. It was pretty cool. I mean, um, this won't last. I, I'm sorry. Go listen to last Friday. Uh, happy good morning. It was fun. I want to leave y'all guys with this. Um, start of a week, right? So let's let's talk about positivity, right? Um, I really, I truly, I truly, really believe this. Every day we get to start new. Right, so whatever happened yesterday, it sucked. Or was it a miss and most amazing thing? You get to start new, you get to focus. We are living in times where we seem to be restricted into the things that we want to do. Um, you know, just frustrating um, to, to be going through all the things that we're going through. And that's fine, but remember, man, we can start over. We can start new every day. I'm gonna tell you, happiness is the choice. Happiness is it's not something that's just gonna happen to you. Happiness is something that you get to make, you get to build every day. Um, I, I, I had to learn that. I had to learn that the hard way, that happiness and joy, those are things that I have to build, those are things that I have to want, and those are things that I have to receive. And the most important thing, those are things that you have to protect. You have to protect. You can't get to see the joy comes from you, it comes from 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 what you decide is gonna be, but you cannot let anybody take your joy. You cannot let anybody. You gotta protect your joy from everybody. It's your joy. It's your happiness. It's on you. You can be happy today. Um, I really do believe that that's how I walk. I, I um, my joy come from my joy starts with me being thankful. Me being thankful for it for the for the for the first breath I get to take that day. Me being thankful for every breath that I get thanked that day. Me being thankful for my relationship I have with uh, with, with God. Me being with me thankful for the relationships that I have positive in life. Celebrate the positive relationships in your life, man. Um, people that are in your life and they're positive and they're trying to be there, celebrate that relationship. Celebrate with them. Um, that's my happy good morning thought for the day. Celebrate happiness. Protect your happiness. Be focused and demand your happiness. You gotta build your happiness, man. It's not something that you can just. Um, it's not something that somebody gonna give to you. People ain't gonna give you happiness. You gotta give to yourself. You gotta take your joy. Uh, that's my happy good morning. I hope you guys enjoy the, the weekend, all the football, all the sports, all the whatever, the barbecues, the 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 the, the fact that you know some states are opening up, man, and everything. And I hope you guys have a happy day. Happy good morning.